Because you see, the scalpers, they're not going to bother themselves going into a store. It's a beautiful cabinet, but I wasn't really interested in getting it. And I forced myself to kind of want it. And then I pre-ordered it. And then I last minute canceled. I'm like, nah. I see. What? Hurry, hurry. Yo, the master splinter just threw a bomb at me. What type of most bizarre video game situation in history? What's going on, Wacky Cat here, otherwise known as C Dre, with another video. And I really hate to be making this video because I've just been nonstop. The 1.9 patch for WW2K22. I'm kind of disheartened to say this because initially when the patch came out and I tested the AI because they did a lot of patches, a lot of fixes to the AI, they really did a good job with the AI. The whole system, the whole movements of the, the superstars, they slowed the animation down uh, it, 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 it was beautiful. It still is beautiful. And I will give them their props for that. They did an awesome job with the AI. But having that said, this 1.9 patch caused, according to, I mean, a lot of comments, and even myself have seen some problems going on with this game. And it all started. Well, well, the deleted data started way before this patch, but I'm talking about other issues started happening once this 1.9 patch got into the system. And now I'm getting all new sets of people, all new, all new loads of people. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Thanks for leaving your comments and liking the videos. But I got a whole new flood of people telling me after this 1.9 patch, their data got deleted. So the patch is the patch has possibly deleted new a whole new group of people from WWE 2K22. Can you, can you believe this? Now people are saying they can't get inside their universe mode at all. They can't even get in the my rise keep booting them out that even more more people are saying it and now i'm having a problem with universe mode where i don't understand it it was working fine before the patch because i started you know playing the game again i started to dibble and dab a little bit so okay let me play this game again i could i cannot i can no longer make minor shows on my universe mode Every time I try to uh, finish making the minor show or editing my minor show, because that's what I was first uh, initially what I did. I tried to edit my already minor show. It keeps saying you need a championship and uh, you need a championship. What do you mean I need a championship? This is a minor show. It keeps and it won't let me save the game. It won't let me it won't let me edit anymore. It won't let me edit my uh, minor show. I can't even, I try to delete it and make a whole new minor show. It still won't let me. This is very odd. And so, uh, somebody left a comment and they are absolutely right. This is this a record. I don't, from my understanding and from y'all understanding, there has never been this many patches in a WWE game or a 2K game. We got 1.9. The record, the current record, I believe, I don't know if it was tied with another game, but the current record was WWE 2K20 with 1.8 patch. And that, that, I think that was it. Now we're all the way to 1.9. And this little bit of time frame, the game came out a little bit over a month ago. And we're already at 1.9 patches. Now, what would make, why is there so many patches? Now, I have my suspicions and I have my theories. And, you know, I got to keep saying alleged, alleged. I don't want to, you know, but I, I have my theories and this is my opinion. This is my theories. 
I think what might have happened, and this is just my theory, they might have been trying to fix the deleted data problem and end up making a whole new set of problems. Now, this is just my theory. I may be completely wrong. This is my way of thinking. But the fact that the game initially didn't look like nothing was wrong with it. Nothing. The only thing that was wrong was people was getting their data deleted. And then, yeah, the universe mode cutscenes was messing up. And now, I mean, now we have to start asking ourselves the question, guys. And, and this is, we got to have this talk. Are we kind of, and we did not put this on these developers. We did, we're not the ones that put this expectation on the developers. They did this for whatever reason for you know are they making these games too fast like are they developing these games because you got to think about it you got each a yearly game coming out each year and for the most part i mean i hate to say it, it, it you kind of uh what's the, what's the what's the name you kind of uh copy and paste copy that copy that game and paste it to next year paste that next that game to the next year then the next year you come to copy and paste and change a little minor stuff here and there all oh, this year we changed the controls all oh, this year we got this guy all oh, this year we worked with this people all oh, this year we we got this new superstars oh this year he kind of copy and paste because to be honest it takes like to make a real good game like from scratch you have to literally it takes years. It takes more than it takes about three, three to five years, even longer. And now we we did give. Well, you know, two K gave themselves uh, two years, almost three years, uh, if I'm not mistaken, to make this game. But let's be honest, I uh, it, I don't think it was enough. I think they needed at least one more year. Now, granted, they did an awesome job with the time frame. They try. It, it looks like they. To me, they tried to revamp the whole system, like to revamp the whole from like not scars from scratch, but make a re, re, make a evolu, uh, revolutionary. I messed that word up real bad. <laughs> evolutionary new game, but in order to do that, it takes more. It it should take more time. You they didn't they they it don't look like they copied and pasted like they they pre did previously or it's like they try to really make a whole new product somewhat even though it does have elements of the old games but i think it's just i'm not, I'm not gonna say the word rushed but it would it might have been a little rushed too much so now we got this game that's appeared to be complete but there's problems and issues that which which patches can fix i guess through time but then we kind of want to, the way we are as the public and and social media age, we kind of will let you know if something's going on. And so you your product has to be kind of already complete before you give it to us. We don't want a halfway completed product and then you'll say, oh, I'll fix, I'll patch it up here and there. No, we want it already complete because otherwise we're going to start. And we gave 2K uh, they probably maybe traumatized from from WWE 2K20. We gave them so much. I mean, they we loaded on them. Talk about this game sucks. So they, I, they really, I, you know, you got to think they really tried to make a good game, which they did make a good game. And it, it, this, I want this, and all of us can agree. This, all of us can agree. WWE 2K22 is a awesome game. It's it's way better than twenty twenty two. I mean, not twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty is is absolutely graphics are absolutely gorgeous. The gameplay is fun. We are having a time on our lives. But here's the issue we're coming across that can make that can make or break this game: the save data and like the save data and the fact that if I put my work into making a created character or well, i took my time in making my rise and getting far i get in my rise or i did a like what happened to me i it won't that big of a deal but i made a show on universe mode and now i can't access it and i edit it and now I, that's the make or break because now it's like 
these the save data the, the the all that ties in to the to the enjoyment of this game because we we customize each one of each person that buys these games we we customize it uh to our liking no 2k wwe 2k from each per everyone has got their own unique characters created characters universe modes so it's kind of like a personal uh, uh a sentimental thing you know with the save date so if the save data is corrupting our stuff we lose it's kind of disheartening especially when this jet game just came out it, li it just came out i don't understand this now now what should they do next i uh, uh <laughs> i think they should keep it real keep it real what's going on with this game did it, what what why uh, now why can't i fix my my universe mode why can't i go in there and edit my minor show why can't this guy why did this guy get all his characters deleted after the patch what's really going on here and at first i thought it was you know, i had the theory of maybe it's hackers but i'm i'm still i don't even think, i don't think it's hackers something is not stable with this game and it's got a lot to do with the save data i don't know if it's the server but uh, it seems to me every every update every patch we get something weird happens like I don't know, and the thing is, I don't know what they're trying to fix. Like, like okay, look, okay, the one point nine. I see that obviously you can blatantly see you you can see that they fixed a lot of different things. I can go over all of the issues they fixed. They did fix a lot of things, but doing that, a lot of other stuff went haywire. And a lot of that other stuff that went haywire is making a lot of people mad because it got to do with them accessing certain modes in the game. So at this point, we just need to be, I mean, somebody got to have to keep it real with us. Like, what's going on? Now, can we, as the, as the fans of this game, can we handle the truth? Probably not. I mean, if they tell us the truth, we're probably going to, like, you know, say all types of stuff on Twitter, YouTube whatever social media we, we're gonna let them have it but hey at least it's better than just just keep it real and due time we'll 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 like okay you did keep it real you did and we got to start thinking like i did like i said before are these are these games being rushed now they did an excellent job and it, it and the issue it don't seem it seemed like these issues should be easy fixes to to the us the public that the buys the game or oh, you can't access universe or oh, you can't access uh, my rise that should be an easy fix logically you think that will be an easy fix oh i can't access universe mode like these things seem like easy fixes and when the patch come out it may fix that problem but then another problem happened it deletes my characters like apparently these must not be easy fixes then this must be a complicated issue in this game to be making this for little haywire stuff to be haywiring like this so i don't know the game is playable it's playable and it's enjoyable but there's a lot of people right now that's just scratching their head like what what is what is what is the problem and at, at some point and hopefully sooner than later somebody may have to say look guys we don't we keep it real with us why is this this many patches? How many patches are we going to have? Because obviously now we need another patch. We're going to have to get another patch because the, the, a lot of us can't even access modes anymore. A lot of us can't like the like stuff that's weird, like weird stuff is happening, like not even normal stuff. Like, OK, a game crash. That's kind of normal. OK, the game. crash. But like I can't get out of this mode. I can't it keep backing me out of this mode. Like that's bizarre stuff going on now, like stuff that like really shouldn't be happening i've never seen before i can't edit it i can't edit this anymore huh 
How's that haywire? Some of this stuff that's messing up, technically, like, it shouldn't be messing up. Like, how can, how, like, it's just mind boggling to me. And I, I, I got excited, and I'm still excited about the game, but at a certain point, like, <laughs> They're heading in the right direction, but I think right now they just need more time to develop these games. That's just my opinion. They're rushing these games too fast. The game is uh, is it is it is heading in the right direction, but if you can't save, the, that's the key part, and that may be a hassle for them that they know that we as WWE fans as 2k fans as wrestling gamer fans that we like to customize so much of the game we like to customize every single thing the t-shirts the 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 shoes the the helmets the hair the body the muscles the 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 shows we like to customize so much and it's and it may be more complicated than what we understand because we got creative wrestlers we got it's just so much stuff and it may be just too much for that for the server or whatever going on to handle. Like I said before, I don't know what's going so that and I'm starting to think and I'm just, just I'm starting to theorize here. It might be some type of bug somewhere in this game. I don't know exactly where we don't know exactly where, but there may possibly be a bug. And I don't know if a patch can fix it or not. Or maybe it can. I don't know. But if it is a bug. I don't know what really what to I mean a bug in the game then you're talking about I don't know but I'm gonna say it again hopefully 2k can fix this but the way it's looking it may be take a while to get everything perfect because it's not it's like it's See, this is the thing. It's not like all of us are experiencing the same thing. All of us, are, a, a huge majority of us are experiencing all different types of weird stuff. This guy can't get in his universe mode. This guy can't get in his my rise mode. That guy over there can't can't uh, make a creative character. She can't get into the to the GM mode. Like what? It's all types of bizarre. It's, it's so many so many different things going on. Like where do they start? Like where did what? Where do they pinpoint what's going on with this game? Like. And I can't, I'm, uh, you know, I hate to be the guy to keep complaining about it, but I'm, I'm just trying, I'm just curious, like everyone else is curious. And like I do, and I'm, I be fair, I'm really fair with this, with this stuff, with this game. I give it its props when it's time to give the props. I, I gave them the love. The AI system, again, is beautiful. 2K, y'all did a unbelievable job with the AI mechanics since that patch, then 1.9. Fix this game, please. Just, just keep working at it. Keep working on it. Now, we're going to keep complaining. We're going to keep twi making Twitter posts and YouTube videos and commenting on Twitters and and, you and Facebook. We're going to keep doing that until you fix the game. But hopefully you can fix the game and make this a masterpiece, which all of us know you can. But until then, we're just like scratching our head like, huh? Like, what? what why, why is this doing this? Why? How? Why? That's what we're asking. Why and how? Well, anyway, video going on way too long. I just wanted to make that quick video. Because uh, y'all can tell I was excited. I made a video with Brock Lesnar versus The Miz and showing you the new. I was so excited. And maybe I, uh, I spoke too soon. I don't know. But hopefully a 1.10 patch will come out and fix the stuff other stuff i don't know at this point i don't even know what this uh, it's just a head scratcher the biggest head mystery it's still a mystery guys i thought the mystery was solved but it's still a mystery we still need shaggy and scooby-doo in the mystery machine because psh, we're lo i'm more lost than ever now well anyway wacky cat make sure you like subscribe <sighs> Stay, stay in there, guys. Stay in there. Keep 
keep playing the game. Uh, I don't even know. Let's keep trying. Let's keep let's hold. Let's just let's hope because this game is so, got so much potential. We see the awesomeness. We see the greatness in this game. Let's hold on. Cross your fingers that they can figure out what exactly is going on here. Well, anyway, wacky cat here, and I'm out. <laughs>